Hey, it's Colleen with Rope and Resellers. I'm here for another sales update of what I sold on eBay for the week of March 18th through the 24th, 2019. 15 things sold this week, so let's get right into it. California and the Missions. Here's a vintage book. It was written in 1927. It's a, a reprint of a book, I believe. It's collectible. So yeah, there's the original printing was 1883. This one is... Uh, a little in brown version from 1927 about how they treated the Indians, natives of California. I didn't read it. Looked interesting. $29.99 is what it sold for. I collected $33.26. I spent $5 on this at a garage sale. $5.25 in fees. $3.27 to ship it media mail. $19.74 was my total profit on that and it took a month to sell. Epson 3D glasses, you can tell that they're different than regular 3D glasses because on the top they had a switch also on the inside. So this goes with a projection television. I was unable to test these, but they sold for $34.99. I collected $38.48, spent $2 on this at Goodwill and total profit $28.54. It sold that day. This is a USDA 30-year service pin. It was 10 karat gold. I There were two of them. There was actually a bunch of stuff in a, in a baggie that I bought at an estate sale, but this one sold for $34.99 and I still have another one to sell. I collected $38.08, spent about 50 cents on this. Total profit $29.61. It took two months to sell. Five-piece women's shirt, extra large. Took pictures of each and every shirt. Most I could get front and back. Sold them for $24.99. Uh, collected $36.79. Spent about a dollar on this. Actually, these were all things that I was going to donate, and then I decided to lot them up. So this was from the consignment store bag. I included it as one thing because, like I said, I was just going to donate them. They're, they weren't worth very much on their own. Total profit, $21.35. It took seven months to sell. Apple iPhone. This was a broken phone, and uh, I acquired it. My son from school brings home this giant bin of electronics. I had told the IT guy at the school that I could sell the chargers that they weren't using, extra charges chargers from their school computers. They have a one-to-one -one ratio, so the schools all have access to computers. And so I had told him over the summer that I could sell these for him. So he came home with what I assumed was a bin of chargers for the Chromebooks that they use at the school. And I was going to donate, you know, a certain percentage to the school. Also in this bin were a bunch of Apple products and some generous community member donated them to the school either for them to tear apart and try to learn how to fix or to sell and make money for the school. So uh, the IT guy wanted them sold. I paid him $200 for this box, for the entire box of everything. I did break it down. I tried to figure out how much it would cost me in fees and shipping, and then I said I would give them 25% of the listing price. So that's how I came up with $200. So anyway... This is one thing that was in there. I had written down that I was going to sell it for 140, but actually I I don't know at the last minute I'm like I just need money, so I sold it for 124.99 and collected 129.18. I of course put sh uh, insurance on the shipping for this. I s I gave the school about $55 and total profit was 53.94 and it took just minutes to sell. Here's a doll tile uh, I got this out of the free bin at Habitat. Uh, so I've sold two of these already. I only have one left. $5.99 on that. Collected. Actually, it sold for $5.57 because it was on sale. I had my stuff uh, starting the 22nd for 7% off. So I collected $8.85. I didn't spend anything on it, and my total profit was $4.20, and it took a month to sell. Tova Nights. This took a while. I got it at an estate sale. I sold it for $13.94 and collected $17.43. I spent a dollar on this, like I said, at an estate sale. $10.53 total profit. It took 10 months to sell. I guess it didn't take that long. 
cutter and buck these are golf shorts plaid uh i think there was another brand in there sport haley or something sold them for $13.94 collected $21.19 i spent a dollar again this was these were things that i was just going to donate and I allotted them together. Total profit, $10.59. It took seven months to sell. Casio calculator, I think I showed this the other day on a What's It Worth video, and it sold for $69.74. I collected $75.27. I spent $3 on this at Goodwill. $10.50 in fees, $5.53 in shipping. Total profit, $56.24, and it took four days to sell. Two lumbar down pillows. These were for a designer I was working with in town and she decided that she did not need these lumbar. They were not a size. She does quite large houses, so these were too small. 1673 is what they sold for. So I collected 3346 because they bought two. 996 is what they cost me total. Uh, so they were like five dollars i'm not trying to make money on these really i'm just trying to get them out of my house and not lose money but i did manage to make a little shipping was 861 so i was able to cram them and use pirate ship and save money because i put them in a padded poly mailer total profit on that was 1056 it took four months to sell ball mason jars so these are a special edition there were purple ones and blue ones for i don't know 100th anniversary or some anniversary pack I can't remember, but they didn't sell them for very long. I actually bought these for a friend of mine and then, I don't know, we lost touch. And so I got tired of looking at them. So I put them up because I saw how much they were selling for, which uh, these sold for $46.49 and I collected $57. I spent $12.99 on them and she was going to pay me back. But like I said, she never picked them up. So I sold them. This was a couple years ago the, these came out. But if they do come out with special edition, it's worth picking up because I made $25.73 and they took six months to sell. This was out of that little bag of junk, quote unquote junk, from Goodwill. And this is the first thing that sold out of the little car bag. And it sold for $9.29. I spent about 25 cents on it. And my total profit was $4.86. And it took a month to sell. Jenga Tetris game. My son, I think they played with it once or twice. He got it at a white elephant thing through school at Christmas quite a few years ago now, and we're trying to clear stuff out. So it sold for $11.62. I collected $15.81. Now I totally screwed up on the shipping because for some reason I had this listed as 10 ounces and it weighed over a pound. And of course it went to, you know, zone eight or something. So I spent $9.93 on shipping and it, they only paid like four. So I was way off on that. $3.68 is what I made on this. I wouldn't have listed it had I known that I would be so silly. This, an offer came in on Sunday morning for $50. I've had this for quite a while. It's a Catherine Home pot. It's quite large, but um, it's not the really, really big one. But I picked this up years ago at a at a thrift store in a small town in in Montana which I was surprised to find this because that's not really something you would find in the middle of nowhere in Montana but there it was and someone offered me 50 and I just took it because I'm tired of looking at it 6692 is what I collected I spent three dollars on this I know right all their pots were three dollars I was like what okay so my total profit on that was 38.16 and it took two years to sell. Some of the ones in orange go for a lot more. Red, blue, avocado greens, not a super hot color. So, but you know, I'll take 50 bucks. And the last thing I sold was this lot of pins. I don't know if girls are still doing this, but some women are using these pins to make a bouquet for their wedding instead of having real flowers. There were some signed pieces in here. These were kind of cool. Picked them up at, at estate sales. I've just sort of been collecting them for a while. $13.94 is what they sold for. I collected $17.30 and I spent about $2 on this. Total profit, $9.55. It took two months to sell. $501.21 was what everything sold for. I collected $598.31. $96.70 in costs, most of that being the phone and those jars. I paid up for a few things this week. 77.86 in 
fees, $96.43 in shipping, total profit, $327.32. And I just want to point out that what eBay shows me was almost $600. That's the seller hub if you have a store. That's what it shows. Or on your phone, sold this, this week or the last seven days or whatever. This is what I saw. And I thought, oh, I had a killer week. But when I did my numbers, which is ever so important, and what is going to pay the bills or not, is actually 327.32. So just a reminder, you really need to look at your numbers or you could get into a lot of trouble. Uh, Amazon merch, I sold eight shirts, a pop socket, and I had one return. I knew that return was going to come back because somebody bought two shirts. Whenever a shirt sells two at the same time, it's almost always that they're buying two different sizes and then they end up returning one because Amazon makes it easy. So my total profit there was, well, royalties, thirty-five eighty-seven. Total profit for the week, three sixty-three nineteen. So not a bad week. It's a solid week. It's my goal to make 300 net and and I made it. Uh, last week I didn't. So like I said before, you have to average it out. I also want to again reiterate that you need to know your numbers because if I had just looked at my phone or my seller hub, then I would have thought, oh, I made $600 this week, but actually I made about half that. So you need to know how much your cost of goods are. Remember that you make your money when you buy and that you know how much you're paying for shipping and you know you're gonna have returns you're gonna have customer issues you're gonna have miscalculations so it's good to know all those things because with knowledge then you're armed the other thing I want to mention is I didn't have a what's it worth this week I had some back trouble so I was laying on my back a lot this week and I was doing everything I possibly could just to keep my business going and so I apologize for that I will have a Oh, what's it worth this week? I'll try to shoot a couple of them so that I can start putting them out a little bit more. So the last thing is I want to remind you that if you have a store with eBay to use those quarterly coupons, they're going to expire here pretty soon. I think, I can't remember what the last day of the month is, but you need to order them before the end of March because that's the end of the first quarter. So make sure that you are getting your free shipping supplies, your free shipping supplies from eBay because that's part of your store subscription. You may as well get some packing tape and some boxes because those are always, and poly mailers, those are all always useful things. Okay, I have lots to talk about today. The other thing that I wanted to say was, I think this week was a good week compared to the week before, even though I don't think I listed as much because of what was going on with my health, but I think that because I was listing really good things that were attractive, I listed another sword from my dad's estate. I also listed a bunch of Apple products that are driving a lot of traffic to my store. I'm not necessarily selling it, but the, I think when you list things that are popular that a lot of people are looking at, Google or eBay or the algorithm or the internet gods, all give you a boost and spread your stuff out even more. Because the week before I listed movie posters and I haven't sold any and it wasn't driving any traffic and if I look at the traffic you can look at your uh, how much traffic you're receiving it took a dip that week so here's my new theory it's not a conspiracy theory I think it's pretty valid is that if you have things that people want to buy you are going to drive more traffic even if they don't buy it if they are just looking and it's not a stale listing meaning anything over three months old I think they consider start to consider stale if it's a newish listing and it's driving a lot of traffic to eBay or to your store, they will give you more. They will give you the whole store. So I think my sales are up because of that Apple phone or the sword or whatever it is. I've got a lot of eyeballs looking at a few things that I listed last week. So here's my, here's my experiment that I'm going to try this summer. As I go out garage sailing, I'm going to try and whenever I get a red hot thing and I, and I know it's going to sell really easily, I'm going to try and gather those things and have a special bin and list one or two things of those a week so that I'm not throwing it all out at one week so it sort of spreads it out because if you saw I sold some older stuff this week and I think it's because I'm getting more traffic it could be promoted listings it could be sales there's a lot of things going on here and it's really hard to just try one thing because it then you suffer for sales so 
that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. So if I get a red hot thing at a at a rum sale or garage sale, I'm just gonna hang on to it if I have something else really good to list that week and save it for the next week. So with that, I hope you go out and find red hot things that people want and you list it at a price that they want to pay and make some good sales this week. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the down if you did not like it. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see in the comments, and I promise I am going to try to get to uh, comments. I haven't been able to sit at my desk for a very long period of time, so I apologize for not answering comments, but I do read each and every one, and I want to say thank you for all the kind things that you guys always say each week and with each video. So you guys have a good week. We'll talk to you soon.